Global Content Overview on the Housing tab in Spire. In the Assignment Notification tab, you can see your current housing information. Note that after housing selection for the next fall semester occurs, the Assignment Notification page will update with your new housing information. Before you can request a room selection appointment, under the Room Selection Eligibility tab, you must sign the occupancy license by clicking Sign New Occupancy License. You can also create or update your housing profile with information about your living style that the other students will be able to view during room selection. Under the priority heading, you will see a priority order number. This number will decide when during the housing selection process you will be able to choose a room. Under housing profile, there's a questionnaire designed for you to provide some basic information about your living preferences as a potential roommate. During assignment processes and room selection, staff and students will view your answers when making room assignment decisions. Under the Occupancy License tab, if you have already signed the occupancy license, the date of signature will be displayed here. If you have not yet signed it, you will be asked to do so. Use the Family Housing License tab if you are a student with a family or dependents to sign the Family Housing License. Note that you must sign this license before you can apply for family housing. The Room Selection Home tab is only for currently enrolled undergraduate students. New students must use the New Students tab. Once you have signed the occupancy license and updated your housing profile, click Request a New Appointment to request a housing appointment for the upcoming academic year. Once you request an appointment, you can view under the Appointments heading your appointment date and time, during which you can choose your housing. You can also form roommate groups with other students you plan to dorm with. Click the Form a New Roommate Group button. Fill out the fields and select the desired person. Note that the other person must accept the email invitation they receive to be officially added to the roommate group. All the tabs under New Students are for freshly admitted students, including incoming freshmen and transfer students. Use the Roommate Search tab to find potential roommates for the upcoming semester. New students will submit a preference application where they will rank the different residential areas based on their preferences. Housing assignments will be released on a designated date after the preference application has closed. Students can use the room swap process to exchange like room assignments, for example, shared room to shared room, single to single, apartment to apartment. When a student initiates a swap request, the person they intend to swap with will receive an email. Once both students have approved the swap, the assignment is automatically updated. If a student living in a double room alone, in a triple room alone, or in a triple room with only one other person, and do not want an additional roommate, they must pay for the extra space. Navigate to the Room Buyout tab and follow the instructions to either buy out the room or leave the additional space available for a potential roommate. If you choose a room but later wish to cancel it, Use the Room Cancellation tab to select the semester you want to cancel for. Enter your date of birth and a reason for cancellation, and submit the cancellation request. Note that if you cancel your room after the housing assignment period, you will be subject to a minimum of $500 cancellation fee. Newly admitted students must use the Move-In Reservation tab to select a move-in time and complete the key agreement to be able to receive your room key on move-in day. Students returning to the same room for the spring semester need to verify that they have the correct key using the self-service check-in tab. Students who do not complete this check-in will have their room assignment cancelled and will be subject to the cancellation fee. After checking into your room during the fall and spring semesters, you need to fill out the room condition form. This will be used to evaluate the condition of the room during move-out. Note that if you do not fill out this form at check-in, you will not be allowed to appeal any charges at move-out.